Okay, can everyone see that okay? Okay, great. All right, um, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Jennifer Tani. I'm the director of Posse Chicago. We're a national um, merit leadership scholarship program and um, we have a great partnership with Chicago Public School. So wonderful to be with you all. Um, I'm here to share with you a little bit about best practices for preparing for that scholarship interview. Um, and so this will not really be specific to the Posse interview, but I think just some best practices overall that you can think about when preparing for your interview. Okay, um, very briefly, I just wanted to give a little context about the Posse Foundation. Uh, we uh, recruit uh, students um, from Chicago Public Schools and, and um, other surrounding schools um, and identify students for their excellence in academics and their leadership. Um, and we send them to school in groups of 10 or a, a posse. And so we partner with 12 different colleges and universities. This is an example of one of our posses. And then today I'm really uh, gonna focus again on the interview. So we have a, a three-stage interview process for posse. Um, this is really more geared towards probably a, a, a more traditional one-on-one -on -one type of interview. Um, and I've, I've come up with a framework that hopefully will be a little bit easy to, to think about and remember. So I'm calling it the five R's for interview preparation. Research, reflect, review, reframe, and reach. Okay, I'm gonna walk through briefly what these are. And I shared this with, um, with Michelle. And so uh, this can be available to folks after uh, the session. All right, so the first thing is researching the organization, right? So all scholarships are different. I'm sure you've heard all about this. Um, just make sure that before you come into a scholarship interview, you've done your research um, and you're not just prepared to talk about yourself, but you really understand what that organization is about, what they're looking for, right? It's the same with a job interview. You wanna think about what you're contributing. So you wanna know what that organization's mission and goals are, what are the criteria of their scholarship and how are you a good fit? So really thinking about that, every interview you might have to tailor a little bit differently uh, just to make sure that you're, you're making uh, the best case for yourself for that um, particular scholarship. The second um, R, second and third are one, to reflect on your story and two, to review your transcript. Um, and so when you reflect on your story, right, um, scholarships, again, are going to be looking at you for all sorts of different elements of who you are, maybe your identity, your experience, your interests, right? So after you've done that research, reflect on your own story and what makes you sort of unique and stand apart. A couple of different ways to sort of buckets to think about yourself, right? Your personal, what's your, what's your story? What's your family story? What have been some of the key experiences that have shaped who you are as a student and who you hope to be? Um, as a college student in the future. Your academic story, right? This is really important. I mean, I, I, particularly if this is an academic scholarship that you're applying for, um, review your transcript. It might be by the time you're a senior, you may have forgotten some of the things that happened early on in high school. And if you have um, either a college or an organization that's looking at your transcript, you wanna know what, what's on there and be able to speak to both your strengths um, and if, if there's any things that, any places that were sort of hiccups in your academic career, you wanna be prepared to speak about those, right? And so a great example is um, you may have had a really challenging class. Maybe you took your first AP class or IB class and it was really challenging for you. And maybe that reflected in a grade that doesn't sort of best, uh, best reflect you. But is there something that you learned? Oh, I think I'm getting ahead of myself, but is there something that you learned that you can sort of talk about in that experience? Or was there a context that may, other people may want to know about? So for example, perhaps there was something significant going on with your family or with your health or something like that that may have been uh, impacted your grades. And if you can share that, that helps uh, the interviewer better understand sort of the, the context for, for your experiences. Uh, leadership. So leadership um, at Posse, we define this very broadly. And so I encourage you all to think about that uh, broadly as well. Obviously, there are things like your extracurricular activities that you're a part of, your clubs, your sports, your organizations, both in and out of school. Um, but we often tell students, um, don't forget about things that are that are not at school. So for example, you may have a lot of responsibility 
with your family. You may be working a job to contribute um, income to your, to your family's household. Maybe you are um, taking care of younger siblings. Maybe you're helping to cook meals. Um, you're helping your parents maybe interpret bills or other information, right? These are really, really powerful responsibilities. And because many students live that every day, it doesn't seem like maybe something special or unique to highlight, but it's, it's not something that every student is doing. And so um, that's something that you should think about sharing as a, as a strength of yours, okay? So reflect on your story, review your transcript. The next R is reframe. And I started to get into this, right? So if you have had a challenge, think about reframing this as an opportunity, something that you've learned, um, something that you um, has strengthened you, um, right? So, so don't shy away from maybe something that has been a challenge, um, but talk about how that's been uh, something that has, has strengthened you, something that has helped you reflect uh, something that has made you a, a better and stronger student. So this gives you the opportunity to control the narrative. Um, you'll see what questions you get asked, but, but being prepared to speak to that, I think is a great way to just um, be prepared for anything that, that may come up. And again, when I say clarify questions or concerns, this means that if, you know, without that context, without that reframing, the interviewer or the scholarship organization is left to maybe make some guesses or assumptions about what your experience is. So you wanna really be in control of that narrative, anticipate what might come up as a question and you can prepare for it that way. All right, and the fifth R that I have is reach for your dream. So a lot of what I've talked about so far has been uh, more so thinking about reflecting on what you your sort of past and present experiences are. But of course, a scholarship is going to want to know what is it that you hope to achieve? What are your goals? What do you envision for yourself? And I will say, you don't have to know exactly what that is, right? Where no one is looking for you to say, I know exactly what my trajectory and my pathway are. But at least you can say from where I sit today, these are some things that I'm passionate about. This is what I really love academically. These are the things that I care about, my values. So think about how you want to inter um, articulate your future goals and plans, um, why is a college the right fit for you, and so on. Um, and lastly, this was not one of my original five R's, but uh, respect. And so I think, you know, it is always leaves a great impression to show gratitude for the opportunity, right? Thank the person that is interviewing you, follow up with a thank you note or email if you can. And um, I am honestly most moved by people who do not move forward in our scholarship process and still send a really thoughtful note to say, even though I might not have gotten this, um, I'm so grateful for the experience. I learned something, right? That really says something about the kind of person you are and you'll stand out uh, to, that, to that person. So you never know what might come when you sort of act with grace and, and respect and, and kindness for folks. Um, so that's really covers um, my uh, sort of high level presentation. So I'm gonna stop my sharing and see if anyone has any questions um, either in the chat or maybe Michelle, you can help if there's anyone sort of raising hands. So um, everyone is saying that these are great tips. Um, a few folks said that they were actually semi-finalists um, and we, of course, are letting them know that that's still a major deal, um, but Posse is now closed, um, but we wanted to make sure that we had Jennifer here because Posse really does a dynamic job of interviewing students, and so we wanted to hear from the best, right? What are you looking for? Um, what are some of the things that are really important uh, that you see that students aren't doing in their interviews that they should do? So, Jennifer, thank you so much for sharing all of that information with us.